I know, I know. You want honks. <laughs> Don't worry. You're going to get it. I just wanted to take a couple minutes. I just made a video, which I'm going to post in a little bit. Uh, so you'll probably watch that of this horrible rainstorm we had. It's the third rainstorm we've had, including the aftermath of the hurricane recently on August the 4th. And it's ruinous. We've had over 10 inches of rain. And I've had a lot of figs just spoil. So after this last rain, which I'm going to post a video soon, rain, rain, go away. And don't come back another day, please. But uh, I thought I would just show you a little t technique that I use occasionally, rarely, when I absolutely have to do it. And I went out and picked these figs after that film, after that video. And because I knew they would all be spoiled even more tomorrow. Now, these weren't quite, they weren't perfectly at peak ripeness. They're very ripe. I mean, they're ripe. And they've got sweetness to them, but not enough that I really fully enjoy them. Because I do like my figs sweet. I, I, I want them to be, I want them to be perfect. And these aren't going to be perfect. Not now and not ever. But there are things that we can do when we are faced with the obstacles of nature that really can, I think, ameliorate the pain of the situation at hand. And it is painful for me because I work hard for my fig collection and Fortunately, I have my figs staggered, and I talk about that in some of my videos. I do have my figs staggered so that they get ripe at different times, and that's very, very important when you're a fig grower because there is a lot of adversity. There's so many things you have to overcome. It's not easy, as I've said many times. And if you enjoy eating figs the way I do, the fruits of your labor, as I do, there are little techniques tricks, whatever you want to call them, that work rather well that I've learned over the years, and this is one of them. Now, I've said often that I, I like organic, and I do. I, I'm as organic as I can possibly be, but not to a fault. I mean, there's just some concessions that I am forced to make, and I do, uh, but not readily and not without chagrin. Uh, I try to, whenever possible, and tenaciously, to, to stick to a very organic regimen, if you will. Uh, so when you do this, if you can get a hold of some organic maple syrup, that's the trick. And here it is here. I've already taken the liberty to pour this into one of my shot glasses, which maybe after all this, I think I'll fill with some whiskey when I'm done. That's a good idea too, maybe. <laughs> But it's very simple. Just put a couple drops. I don't know if this is picking up on the video. Just a, just a couple drops on each one. Let it soak in. You can go back and do it again. I'm just showing you I'm here for demonstration purposes. And you want to try to get the figs to be flat. So. It doesn't just roll off into the plate. But if it does, you just dip your figs into it. That's all. And so these aren't perfectly ripened, but they're ripe. They're very edible. They're soft to the touch. And by any, by any other standard, except maybe mine right now, uh, these are very, very fine figs. But the rain that we just had, again, it was just starting to dry out between the second big rain and... The third, we already had 10 inches, eight the first time, two the second time, and this time at least two. And they were just starting to dry out. I had thrown away a lot of figs because they just weren't good. I salvaged parts of them and little doggy ate a few of the good portions of the figs that I was able to save. And we gobbled down as many as we could that were good enough to eat. Uh, my wife and I sat down to a wonderful fig breakfast a couple mornings be ago, and it was really great. But these were just starting to ripen, 
and now with all this rain, I know they'll be spoiled by tomorrow. So I picked them prematurely, just a little prematurely. Again, they're right. You can eat them. Okay, look, you know. But this is a technique that works in a situation like this, just a couple drops of maple syrup. And I personally, you know, of course, chocolate, vanilla, everybody, you know, taste is an objective thing. It depends. But in an emergency situation like this, rather than let these figs just be mediocre and not be fully appreciated, I've learned that maple syrup really, really, really does enrich the flavor to a point of almost near perfection. And, and we rather, we, we like it. Uh, now, just eat one here. Let me show you. Mmm. Wow. It restores a water-logged, water-soaked, rain-soaked, tomorrow-spoiled fig into something that is near peak perfection. It's good. It's very good. So, I'm hoping that you give this a try. It's just one of those things you learn over the years of dealing with this business of being a fig admirer, a fig grower, <laughs> fanatic. <laughs> you didn't hear that. But, and uh, it works. It's a technique that works. I managed to go out and get some peppers, and I've got a ton of tomatoes, and I picked a few, and Debbie's making some cakes. She's such a good baker. I picked some potatoes this morning and washed them off from the yard. And I've got lots and lots of tomatoes. And a friend brought over some peaches. So we'll be eating those well. Debbie will fix them up. And they'll be delicious too. Okay, well, thank you for visiting. I always enjoy your visits. I, I do. And I hope this little suggestion uh, will work for you as well as it has for me over the years. And the date is, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did. Maybe August the 9th is probably close enough. Good day.